Hey guys, when you pop on, say hello. <clears throat> shared out. How's everybody doing? I'm Tracy Gorick. I am an air energy healer and a spiritual mentor. I work with undiagnosed illness, uh, looking at alternatives to find answers and help you heal. And today, um, I had like kind of gotten off the beaten path or my, what I needed to be doing. And I decided to, uh, every day I was, you know, when I'd work out and be in the shower, the stuff would come to me that I needed to talk about today. And I kind of got away from that as I was working on um, the webinars that I'm doing. So I decided to get back to that. So this morning it came to me that wellness is within. And um, energy healers, what their purpose is to help clear the stuff out so the healing from within can happen. And um, a lot of that is, in, in, in working with energy healers also, you can talk through uh, what else is going on with you. If there's anger, if there's frustration, if you're upset all the time, or if you're jealous, if you have that going on, it's causing the illness inside of you also. It is, it is part of it. And so that's something that needs to be worked on also in order to heal. You really need to learn to look deep within and you can go get an energy healing, you're gonna feel great after. But if you don't start working on the inside stuff, or you know what's going on in your mind, then it's not gonna stay, you're not gonna stay feeling good. It's gonna come right back. A lot of those emotions do cause illness in the body. And um, so that is one thing I do work on with people when I, when I help you know, heal them. We do work on the, the causes of it. Um, the mental causes of it. Um, it's not always, you know, the mental causes, but a lot of times, I'd say the majority of times it is there. Uh, you can heal, but what healing does is it clears it out for you so you can see it better. Because when you get down in the muck of it, it just, you can't see what, what's going on with you. Um, so, a story to tell and now it just slipped my mind um, well it'll be something for another day um, for me I remember um, one day I was just the kids were young and I was still feeling I was just feeling yucky I felt overwhelmed I was angry a lot and um, I got a book and uh, it was actually the Kevin Trudeau book and I can't remember the name of it but uh, I read it and in there it just gave you all the natural things to do um, for yourself and so that's what I did that was a change and I was making uh, progress and it was making movement and that was kind of the start for me to um, start healing because the kids were always sick so I went and I got rid of all the, the cleaners in the house and I started using vinegar and water I do still use some it's not totally but I got rid of most of them and then I started using essential oils to make the house smell good and using essential oils on their feet. And um, just making those changes made the movement inside of me. And I, so I wasn't just sitting there in the gunk of it. If you make a decision to feel better, it is a start. It might not like happen instantaneously, but it's a start. You need to start, you know, just doing something for yourself. And that's why I say, and that's why I post, do one thing for yourself today. That will make you feel better. Don't just sit in the misery of it. I know it's hard and I know it's difficult, especially when you're feeling horrible or you're in a, a deep depression. But if you can make one decision today that will make you feel better by just doing one thing that makes you happy, whether even if it's just watch a movie or just read a poem, just one little thing, it's gonna make you start the movement in the right direction to heal yourself. So that's it for today. Um, any questions?
questions, let me know. I'm happy to answer them. I love answering them on Chalk Talk. So please give me your questions and uh, go do one thing today that brings you joy. Start the healing process. Bring yourself some joy. Even if you're just feeling horrible, do one thing. It will change. Watch. And then it's a momentum. Then go write five things that you're grateful for. That will start to show you what is good in your life still. You need to look at that and that helps you with your healing. So go do one thing that brings you joy and write five things you're grateful for. And I will see you tomorrow. I love you all. Have a great day.